Dean Schwab. And I'd like to take a few minutes here to show you how easy and intuitive it is to fly a Rockwell Collins head-up guidance system. We're flying an approach into Innsbruck, Austria. It's a uh, airport located in mountainous terrain. It can be a challenging approach because it's a steep approach and it's to runway 26. And I'm using the head-up guidance system and I am following the flight path, which is the circle with the wings and the uh, vertical tail on it. And then it's following the uh, guidance cue, or I'm overlaying the circle on top of the circle, the big circle on the little circle. It's a very intuitive display. It's easy to fly. And off to the left, I have an inertia carrot, which is uh, giving me the uh, energy state of the airplane. And I use it along with the speed error tape on the left wing to fly a very precise airspeed. And I'm going to go to the approach mode now. And we're going to start the descent here momentarily when we get our glide slope fully captured and in place. Okay, so I am flying essentially straight and level right now and then we'll start the descent here momentarily once we get our glide slope deviation scale aligned to its its proper position. So I've got the synthetic vision out there and it's giving me um, a very clear picture of uh, what the terrain would look like if I were in the clouds. I would be able to actually see where the terrain is and obstacles. Now I have my radio altimeter and it's starting its uh, countdown. So I have all the instruments that I would have head down, head up for me. So I can keep my eyes out the window and the flight path keeps my eyes trained on the touchdown position, my uh, touchdown target. So when I get to the uh, decision height, I have virtually no transition time required. My eyes are already where they need to be to make the decision to land. This type of uh, guidance system, this head-up display, makes flying a very enjoyable process. It's, uh, it's very, very uh, fun to be able to fly these kind of approaches. So, we're coming up on 500 feet here, and if I were flying a Category 3 approach, that's where the approach monitoring would start, which is even tighter tolerances to allow us to go to the Category 3 minima. So we just got our flare armed, so it's going to give me guidance for flaring when I get down close to the, uh, to the runway to help me transition the airplane into a ground vehicle. So again, I'm keeping the big circle right over the little circle, which is our guidance cue. So we're starting our flare capability. There's our flare guidance. It's going to touch me down. And then we go into the rollout guidance mode. So it helps me stay on the center line in low visibility. Got our brake energy our deceleration from our energy carrot and we're bringing the airplane to a stop. And that's really how simple it is to be able to fly to heaven.
20. Retard. 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 Spoilers. The sun is going down at east in the south of France, and the Dassault Flight Ops team is hard at work prepping a Falcon to take me on a different kind of night flight. Our mission commander is test pilot Philippe Ribourg. I am ready. Okay, we go. Sitting in the right seat, Olivier Ferrer. B1. We leveled off and I slid in to the left seat, the one with the best view by far. Normally it's hard to beat Mother Nature's offering, but not in this case. This head-up display made me green with envy. I was seeing the world through the Falcon Eye system. We provide to the pilot a very good feeling of where he's going and now we put that in the head-up display and added with the uh, EVS, we have uh, the best picture we can get from the runway when you land with very low visibility. We were on our way to Chambéry Aix-les-Bains Airport, nestled in the French Alps. The north-south runway is ringed by mountains on three sides, the dreaded Box Canyon. But with Falcon Eye on this pitch black night, the treacherous terrain is as plain as a clear day. As soon as you descend with the head-up display, you are aware of this mountain. You can see them because of the SVS. And as soon as you get below the clouds, the EVS will give you image from the ground. Even at night, if you have fog, you see the lights coming from the approach lights. It's flight plan going to uh, Chambéry. The circle to land approach to runway 36 is sporty, to say the least. Go to that point, which is the VOR of Chambéry, at 6,500 feet, then we turn right to intercept the axis, descending 5,000 feet, and we do the ILS with a slope of 4.5 degrees down to uh, 2,000 feet. So we got on our toes and set up for a low approach. On final, I kept looking around the HUD to see how the other half flies. Literally a night and day difference. It's a big challenge to, to go to very low altitude and to see the lights and continue to land. Without this system, you will go on for sure. Dassault has always been a leader in head-up display and infrared technology. It stands to reason for a company with such deep heritage in the world of supersonic fighters. We are former military pilots, so we know very well that military technology. We push a lot to go in that direction because we think that helps a lot the business aircraft pilot to fly uh, safely his aircraft. In fact, it seems everything about this aircraft is aimed at making pilots feel at ease in adverse environments. Boy, I like the way this thing flies. Philippe let me take the stick on our last approach. Now I will tell you to start to flare. A little bit to the left, please. Yes. Okay, we will go. Okay, you can flare. Good, not too much, not too much. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. I managed to grease the landing, but flunk the taxiing. Oh, oh goodness, goodness, what I do? You just push, ah, you just push, ah, I forgot to tell you that. You just push rather left and right and brakes on the top. No. My apologies. There's only so much technology can do. No I'll let you taxi. <laughs> okay, we need to reduce uh, quite a bit. I need to, uh, one. I need to have about 2,500.
hundred above. Minimum Check. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard, five. Reverse. 